We reported earlier on the death of an American commando in a raid to free ISIS hostages. The deadly operation shows how violence in the war is rising. Sunday, 60 Minutes gets a rare look inside a crucial overseas military hub. David Martin is in Washington with a preview. David, good morning. I was over at 60 Minutes the other day, and everyone was just talking about how incredible your reporting is. Really looking forward to it. What did you learn? Well, we went there earlier this month uh, inside the command center, which runs the air war against ISIS. It's located in a bunker-like building in the middle of a giant air base in the Persian Gulf country of Qatar. And it is ground zero for an air campaign costing $10 million a day. The B-1 is carrying 17 and a half tons of bombs and 170,000 pounds of jet fuel. It strains to get airborne in the reduced lift of 100 degree heat. It will take nearly three hours to reach the target with two aerial refuelings along the way. Well, Mr. Martin, welcome to the uh, combat operations floor. Yeah. Lieutenant Colonel David Hayworth takes us into the command center to watch as the B-1 and all the other aircraft carry out the day's attack plan against ISIS. It doesn't have any windows, but it's got a nice view. Good look at the Arabian Gulf, uh, all the way back in through Iraq and Syria. The air war has been going on for 14 months, but this is the first time news cameras have been allowed into its nerve center. The weapon of choice here is information, because the more information we have, both about the enemy and about our friendlies, the better we're able to make decisions. On one wall, a giant map showing the location of every plane. Green are American and Allied aircraft. The blue are commercial aircraft. On another, a video feed from an unmanned drone, one of dozens orbiting over Iraq and Syria. We make our way around the floor to a spot in the center called the Crow's Nest. So you are standing at right now the Nexus. This is the center of the air campaign against ISIL and Daesh. 60 Minutes is here to follow that B-1 bomber on its mission against ISIS. Air Force Lieutenant General Charles Brown is the commander of the air war. How much of an effort does it take to, to mount a strike like that. For just that one airplane, uh, scheduling wise, about a three day process. And, and some of those targets we've looked at for, uh, you know, for uh, days, weeks, and sometimes months. The U.S. is dropping between 70 and 60 and 70 bombs every day on targets in Iraq and Syria. General Brown says each day brings the U.S. a step closer to defeating ISIS, but he couldn't tell us how many more steps it will take. Nora. Mm. All right. Thank you, David. And Sunday on 60 Minutes, see what kind of damage those missions can do to ISIS. Sunday, you don't want to miss it right here on CBS.